What's up guys, welcome back to the Skull Nation channel. Today we're going to go over what, how I think Jalen Holmes, defensive lineman out of Ohio State, our fourth round draft pick, is going to do with the upcoming season. So a little background on Holmes, he's 6'5", 283, ran a 4'8", at the combine, did 22 bed traps, and he played a lot of defensive end in college. As someone who's went to Ohio State, as someone who obsessively, obsessively watches their football games just like he does with his favorite team. He's not exactly quick. So Holmes, so Holmes was drafted as a defensive lineman, but what I, what I really think he's going to do, he's going to play defensive tackle. I, I, know, I know he's maybe, he has the prototypical build of a defensive end. He played a lot of defensive end in college. But I do really think that they're more leaning him towards defensive tackle. When he was in college, he did actually play quite a bit of defensive tackle. Ohio State is very famous for rotating their guys. You know, here you play defensive end, and oh, next play you play defensive tackle. It's that's how that's how they do it. They they, they like to switch up their guys because they are that deep at defensive line. Man, I wish the Vikings were that deep. But overall, I think he's got I think he's got a very good foundation for what he can do on the defensive line, but again, when I said he's a rotational guy at Ohio State, that presents a, somewhat of an experience problem, so although he has experience at every position on the defensive line, you don't have experience exactly where the Vikings need it, so this is another guy where it just feels like a project. I mean, I know, he's, he's talented, he's quick off the ball, but he doesn't have that real athleticism, that real bull strength that you really want out of a defensive tackle. And he doesn't have the super athletic quickness like a J.J. Watt does coming off the edge. I, I don't know. I, I think I think he's, he is going to maintain defensive tackle because we really, really need a defensive tackle. You know, since Shamar Stephan and both Tom Johnson are gone to the Seahawks. <sighs> But again, I think this is another project the Vikings are going to have to deal with. And whether they really get a lot of production out of him this year, I don't know. I, 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 assume, I assume based on what they experienced last year, they're going to rotate their guys because if you notice towards the end of the season, Everson Griffin, Daniil Hunter, all of them really started tiring down. And they really needed defensive depth, but this just I'm not I, I'm, I'm again I'm questioning whether they really think he's pro ready or not but only time will tell for the season I think maybe 15 tackles maybe two sacks I, I know he's going to be more of a, a pass rusher if he lines up left next to Linval Joseph but I think he needs some time People are saying you know maybe they drafted him to replace uh, Daniil Hunter since Hunter's on a contract here. I'm a little skeptical whether he'll play defensive end, so I'm not really going to consider that. Anyways, that's my take from it. Let me know in that comment section down below. Do you think he's going to be a defensive tackle or a defensive end? Do you think he's a project or not? Hit that like button down below if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all at Skull Nation YT. See you guys next time.